Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we have Aquabiotics ABS, world's first binding system for diving fins. Aquatic hybrid water shoes, water sports shoes, boots connect to a fin blade module using ski binding tech. Aquabiotics surf, yada yada yada, a whole bunch of keyword search terms in there at the end. So, this is basically a aquatic shoe, sort of water submersion friendly shoe that has a binding kind of latch point on the front and you can connect swim fins to it, especially made swim fins. So here's a kind of a better version and they've got all kinds of different fin designs depending on the kinds of swimming you're going to be doing with it and basically it has a little binding clip and a shoe which Obviously, when you have the thing taken off, works like a regular shoe, which is, I think, the whole point. So uh, this guy's raised well over their fifty thousand dollar goal. Uh, it's in Canadian dollars, so somehow it ends up being fifty thousand nine hundred twenty-eight was their goal, and they're on their way to hundred thousand. But only three days to go, so I think it won't get too far. So let's take a quick look at the video. These guys are out of Canada, supposedly but you won't see any Canada in the video. The technology you are about to experience is representing a quantum leap in the history of our sport. Our vision to develop a multifunctional aquatic hybrid boot that will connect. So basically it's like, you know, swim shoes, whatever. Um, not that different than the kind of uh, scuba boots that you can get, except obviously a little bit sportier and it's not just neoprene, it's got a real sole. I mean, I, they don't call it like running shoes, but they say basically it's equivalent to a high-end sports shoe. Connect to an array of interchangeable fin blade modules. And then, yeah, clips in with the toe. Come to fruition. We proudly present Aquabionic ABS, the world's most advanced fin system. So I have to say, you know, they got pretty decent graphics. They have a, you know, good prototypes here. At least the hundred year old method of using foot pockets in combination with cumbersome diving boots is a thing of the past. Our hybrid aquatic shoes allow you to approach your dive site in style and safety. They are designed to provide the comfort and performance you are used to from high end sports shoes, whether you are scoop. So, I think from a physics point of view, um, you know, the question is, is this enough to is this kind of whatever laces system um fastening system to your foot enough to give you the uh to be able to produce the torque and the force uh to deal with the the torque created by the fin um so you basically have this long thing here it's going to be twisting on your foot is just having the laces here without like a full boot enough um will the shoe flex so what they don't really say here is, I think this shoe has to be pretty stiff. So in some ways, it's almost like you could even see when the guy was walking, like despite his his you know hopping over the rocks. And safety. They are designed to provide. Um, it looks almost as if he's walking on, uh, like those clipless uh, ped clipless bike pedal shoes, um, which basically have like a rigid bottom, and they got the little clip on the sole of your foot or the ball of your foot. So you this one is obviously a little bit different because the kind of the hardware is on the toe, but I'm guessing that this whole ball toe part is pretty stiff. Board shoes. Whether you are a scuba diver, a snorkeler, or an advanced free diver, because this whole part fisherman. should be pretty stiff. The ABS boots feature a water drain out sole produced from high end slip resistant polyurethane, a breathable and durable air mesh anti hydrolysis polyurethane leather upper for breathability I I did find this one weird. I actually went back and and rewound it before. But he actually says polyurethane leather upper. So it's not leather. It's polyurethane leather. Leather. I guess is what they call it, the imitation leather. Um, which you know I definitely wouldn't want it to be leather. So uh, I guess you know that's the term they're using. In quick drying. Attach your ABS binding clip to the fin blade. Y-frame technology, the key feature of all of our interchangeable blade modules, ensures the integral connection to all sizes of ABS boots. This unique binding technology reduces the contact point from a fin blade module to the human foot to the minimum. 
power transfer from blade to boot is lossless. So, I mean, apparently it works. Because this feel like guy's an using them. Of your body. The Aqua Bionic ABS fin system delivers the most natural feel of any fins we have ever tried. And when you're done, effortlessly release your fin blade modules from your boots and exit the water more. So for any of you guys who've ever scuba dived, um, you know, this is a nice case. This is easy. But uh, if you're trying to climb into a boat, uh, you take your fins off, obviously, while you're in the water. And it's a big pain. And obviously, jumping in the water while wearing fins is a pain, too. So... There is some appeal to this. Um, I'm just wondering, like, yeah. So you, you literally have one contact point. Is the thing going to twist? Is it going to, you know, is it going to, the shoe going to come off? Um, is it less efficient? Because instead of, like, covering your whole foot, it's just connecting at the toe. Because basically water can sort of go around it rather than, than being pushed by it. Safely so without diet. using one, I might not be able to really tell. This is the Aquabionic ABS system. Simple, straightforward, cutting edge innovation. Seems like this guy really you see knows quality, how to swim with fins though. You He's doing pretty good You recognize the advantages and you understand the principle. Are you in? The other thing is, so you unclip it and then the clip can come off. So I'm just afraid you might drop your clip. Is it gonna sink? Do they float? Do they sink? Okay, international diving sign for okay. So yeah, the aquatic binding system in multiple versions. Uh, looks pretty decent. Um, let's look at the pricing and some of the other details. So the minimum one, uh, early bird, which is still going, you still have a couple left, um, is with either of those two blade fins, not the, I guess not the fancy carbon fiber one, but the regular one, 200 US, eh, a little bit pricey, um, not a little bit, significantly pricey, but uh, you get the shoes and everything in there. They've got a bunch of different other options, the warp blade the aquatic aqua bionic carbon f carbon blade aqua bionic system which is this one which is starting at 300 dollars now you're getting kind of pricey um but i guess it's carbon fiber carbon blade fins and uh, yeah so here's all the details you guys can see so what do you think what do i think so they they do a close-up of showing it latching on Seems pretty easy. Uh, does it pop off? What happens if you get sand in there? Um, you know, there's. I guess you're in the water. You can kind of rinse it out. Um, anyway, not too bad. Still haven't seen if this thing flex or not. Flexes or not. Um, yeah, and they have the boots, and they've got more details about the shoes. The other thing that came to my mind is, what do you do in cold water? So this works in Hawaii or whatever, but if you're in Canada, where these guys are from, do they make like a super warm boot version or maybe not yet, maybe they will in the future, or do they make it, like what do you do? Do you get a really super thick neoprene lining, keep your feet from freezing, but I think, you know, this shoe's not that thick. You'd have to get like a two versions, one for like super size one for wearing in the winter and small size one for wearing in the summer. Um... And we have the two guys who apparently are experts in this kind of stuff. And they work with binding technology people in Austria because they know ski ski bindings in Austria, I guess. Germany and the U.S. and yada, yada, yada. So um, I will say they have been good with the updates. Mostly just promoting the fact that they reached their goals and all that. And their future stretch goals. Uh, they have also been pretty good on the comments. So this is a first-time creator, so it's hard to tell how long it's really going to take. Um, what's their deadline here? It's November 2018. So I guess you could go down to Australia and still make next summer's diving season uh, to test these guys out or whatever, you know, wait and do your ice diving in uh, Alaska. Um, so I just wanted to also check you know, 
I did actually do I do re, I do do research on this channel. Um, how do you pick your diving shoes and boots? Uh, how do you you know? So they've got all these different kinds. These are kind of normal ones. It's mostly neoprene things, and then you know the fin, the traditional fin, kind of rubs on here rather than rubbing on your foot. Um, and then also these guys have how do you find this is a uh, subia.com how do you find the right fin and they basically talk about the three kinds of fins there's snorkeling fins scuba diving fins and spear fishing and free diving fins and these are the super long ones um and so this dude Ou avec un chausson la palme réglable quant à elle est French. très facile he talks about the different kinds il a enfilé mais nécessite l'utilisation d'un bottillon palme longue et nerveuse so that's a you know, free diving or spearfishing one. These are super, you know, for guys who are underwater for a long time, need maximum propulsion from their feet, all that. So, yeah, they have some examples here as well. Um, and here's the long ones. And it turns out they're actually pretty fragile because there's kind of veins or ribs in this that uh, can break or these side ones. And so, anyway, um, pricing-wise, you can get an idea, like, those ones were three hundred dollars for the carbon fiber ones. Carbon fiber fins, you know, in the two to three hundred dollar range, are definitely not uncommon. So, um, you know, I guess these are pretty long ones. Um, and then, of course, you can get all the way up to six hundred dollars for free diving hyper carbon fins, whatever those don't even look that long. Um, or these ones, you know, four hundred dollars. So. Yeah, these prices don't seem so crazy in that respect. And you do get the kind of flexibility that it's a shoe. And these are interchangeable, which means if you want to switch and get a fancier one or you're going to go snorkeling, you just want the snorkel ones, you could buy extra fins, I guess. Or if the fins get torn up or worn out, you could change those. Or more likely your shoe is going to get worn out. Um, or start stinking from you know your smelly feet. You can just keep your fins and change the shoe. Or I mean, even you could like, you could hand me down your fins, and just buy a new shoe for each person. Who knows what? So I like the fact that it's interchangeable. I can't attest to the quality of the clips because the process is not out yet, but uh, seems pretty decent. So you know, if you're going to be blowing a lot of money, oh, the thing I should mention is if you actually look at the price, they do have some on here, some pricing. You know, you get some shitty-ass fins, <laughs> you can get them for $20, $30, right, or less. So, um, you know, only consider this, even the free diving ones are only 50, 45 pounds, right, so it's about $60, $70. So I would only really entertain this if you are of a certain level, like you're the kind of guy who's buying these ones, you probably can afford to experiment with this. You can afford to wait, you know, eight months or whatever it's going to take, or maybe even a year, because you are, I would say, a high-end diving hobbyist who will most definitely be going diving quite a bit in the future, so you'll get your money's worth out of these things over time. If you're in that sector, go for it. Otherwise, maybe stick for the nine pounds uh, cheapo ones. Okay, so that's it for today. I'm going to give these guys a mild thumb up. And check us out on Toys, on Facebook and Flitter. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at GoKickMe and GoKickMedia.com to sign up for our newsletter. Okay, see you guys next time.